In this demo, we are going to introduce the GridSpace Virtual Laboratory, which was developed by our team in Krakow in a number of grid-related projects, including ViralApp and PLGrid. The Virtual Laboratory is a set of integrated components that, when used together, form a distributed and collaborative space for science. One of the goals of the Virtual Laboratory is to provide uniform access to heterogeneous and distributed data resources. Another objective is to provide uniform access to diverse computational applications which use heterogeneous middleware technologies. Finally, an important goal is to provide a platform for multiple users and teams involved in collaborative development and execution of complex scientific applications. The GridSpace Virtual Laboratory can be used by researchers, scientific application programmers and various end-users such as clinicians. Each user receives a dedicated interface which communicates with the runtime system responsible for application execution. The applications integrate multiple computational and data access resources, exploiting the underlying infrastructure. The virtual laboratory is equipped with tools for user-friendly experiment creation and execution, enabling the reuse of existing experiments, gathering and exploiting provenance information, as well as integrating geographically distributed compute and data resources. The experiment management interface is the user interface of the GridSpace Virtual Laboratory. Developed in the ViralLab project, it is being extended in PLGrid. Access to the Virtual Laboratory is secured using the Shibboleth system. The Virtual Laboratory enables the development and execution of complex applications called experiments. The user can view the list of experiments stored in the experiment repository which is designed to facilitate collaborative work. Here we see the details of a simple protein folding experiment developed by the Department of Bioinformatics and Telemedicine of the Aguilonian University in Krakow. In GridSpace, the experiment scenarios are programmed in the Ruby scripting language. GridSpace provides a high-level API for accessing computing resources, such as web services or applications installed on the grid. The high-level API hides middleware-specific details and enables users to invoke remote resources in a simple way. The GridSpace system also provides mechanisms for managing experiment results. Upon clicking the execution button, the portal sends an execution request to the GridSpace engine and a communication channel is opened for streaming the input and output of the experiment. The output of active experiments is streamed to the user via the portal so that application progress can be monitored online. The result manager allows browsing and querying results basing on their semantic types. Each result is uniquely identified and referenced by a URL, which allows for easy access and visualization. Here we can see the visualization of an experiment result. The protein folding experiment calculates the 3D structure of a protein based on the supplied amino acid sequence chain. For more information and to test our tools, please visit our website at gs.cyphronet.pl.